Grab some water and let's mobilize and greet the dawn. Because nothing is more important to us on this earth than the sun. Without the sun's heat and light, the earth would be a lifeless ball of ice and rock. The sun warms the seas, stirs the atmosphere, generates our weather patterns, and gives energy to the growing plants that provide us with food and oxygen for life on earth. I mean, that's something to be grateful for, right? Like yesterday, we're going to explore the, the squat, the downward dog, and the cobra. Use my movement patterns to explore your own range and mobility. It's one minute per position. Let's just settle in, take a few squats, get comfortable, and let's get started. Now, if you're having trouble with squat, you can put your feet wider. You can also put your hands on the floor in front of you. If at any time you get sore or achy legs, you can stand up and shake them out and return to squat. Squat is functionally essential to healthy movement. What we're going to do is play in this position. Use my images, my movement practice, to explore your own position in a squat. We're going to stay here for a minute. I've got the timer on, so you don't have to worry. You can push your elbows into your knees. Reach around, look around with your head. You can reach for the roof. The benefit of the squat play activity is in the small little movements that you make while you're in the squat position. Everything is possible in the squat. We're holding it for a minute. Breathe evenly, move around. If you're uncomfortable, stand up, shake your legs and return to the ground. Just about wrapping up with our minute now. I hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna move into our downward dog position. Feet are wide, slightly turned in, and putting our armpits towards the floor. And just breathe evenly. This is not an easy position to hold. But just try to hold the position and explore what you can do in the inverted position. You can reach forward and grab your, your leg. If that's too difficult for you, you can drop down to your knees and you can reach between the gap rather than being up on your feet. The inverted position is fantastic for reversing the blood flow. You can come out of your position into a front support and drop your legs from side to side. If you're uncomfortable, you stand up. Come back down for some more stretching in downward dog. transitioning now into Cobra. Now if you can't do a Cobra with your elbows straight and extended, get down on your elbows and start slowly. Be very mindful of any pressure in the lower back. Squeeze your glutes. Don't let them be relaxed while you're in this stretch. While you're here, explore the position of the Cobra, the nice slow arched curve of the back really important for healthy posture. We're hunched so often, it's really important to stretch out in the opposite direction. I really like to lift one leg up to the side and play around with my arch shape. Breathing evenly, exploring this ground position of the Cobra. I've actually come out of my cobra now and I'm going to do some spinal articulations. Slowly arching the spine and reaching around looking at my tailbone on either side. I've gone into some stretching of my wrists. As I said, it's up to you what you do, but those three movements are timeless, extremely useful. You should practice them every day three minutes with me on the floor. We're really done now, so hydrate and get about your day. But if you want to, I'm about to sit for three minutes for a stillness practice and you're more than welcome to join me. Presencing 
being still and attuning your senses to your environment and your body is essential to rewilding. This simple practice that I've been doing for decades now is to sit on the floor, cross-legged, put a cushion under your bottom if you like, wrap a towel around you if you're cold. I like doing this outside because I like to experience the weather of whatever time of the year it is. Sitting cross-legged, what you will do is just lean forward gently so you can feel the stretch. That will help you ease into the sitting position. We're only going to be sitting for three minutes here. Get comfortable. Big clap. Rub your hands together hard. Feel that heat. When you're ready, put your warm hands over your eyes and close them. Feel the warmth. Feel yourself centering into this now time and being very present. Let your hands sit comfortably wherever they want to. Be still. And let your senses open up. What can you hear? What's the farthest sound? Can you feel the play of air across your hands and face? What can you smell? Can you feel the weight of your body on the floor? Scan for tension, starting at the neck and shoulders. If you find it, let it go. Let your arms hang limp. If they're tense, relax them. If you have busy thoughts popping into your mind, don't attach anything to them, let them fly on by. Sitting still. Activating your senses. Scanning for tension and letting that tension go. If you're feeling comfortable, you've scanned your body for tension, then focus on the breathing. Breathing in and out through the nose. Feeling the expansion of your lower diaphragm in and out. Rhythmical. Feel the air as it rushes in through your nostrils and out again. Get lost in the breath. Just focus on the breath. In and out. Okay, start shrugging your shoulders, relaxing, bring yourself back into the world. I've got a small little Tibetan bell that I like to bang. Hear that ring out. I say a brief salutation now. You can join me in this if you like, a bit of gratitude. I place my hands together, bring them to my forehead my heart and open up my hands and say to all things living, peace be with you. Have a wonderful day. Stop and be present at any time during your day. I'll see you back on the floor tomorrow morning for another three minutes of mobility, three minutes of stillness practice.